So a quick video on how to do a oil change on the 4.3 litre uh, Aston Martin Vantage. Step one, uh, go to Red Pants and buy yourself one of these kits that comes with uh, everything you need to do the oil change. The Aston Martin filter, uh, new, new plug, some new gaskets uh, and some new bolts. Get yourself 10 litres of uh, this stuff. I actually didn't buy this from Red red pants but you can get that there too get it all at the same time uh, next thing you want to do is open up the uh, oil system to let air in so that when it drains out uh, you don't have any particular messes this is the most over engineered dipstick system I've ever seen but it is also the most beautiful dipstick system you'll ever see also going to do the filters but that's going to be a separate job uh, I've got the car all all raised up here um, so I can get underneath it jack stands ramps the whole business uh, you're gonna have to take off uh, the under tray I think on some kit on some cars it's actually plastic but on mine it is the uh, heavy-duty metal one this one's gonna allow you to get to the drain plug which is uh, uh, drain plug is uh, here uh, so you see I've already done that got the drain plug out that was a 13 millimeter bolt uh, it's also 13 millimeter bolts to remove the metal tray here, but there's uh, some uh, torque screws as well, so you'll need some torque screws. Um, one thing you'll notice is that you can't actually get to the um, the oil filter uh, without removing this uh, neck panel that goes um, like a third of the length of the car, 25% of the length of the car, so this is pretty heavy. Um, that's going to be a bit of a um, pain to get off or more importantly to get back on um, when you're on your own underneath the vehicle but that's that's my next step I'm going to start working on uh, this stuff back here next so once you have the uh, rear metal um, plate removed and lowered out of the way you get access uh, to the oil filter so at this point you can get in to the oil filter uh, with a grabbing uh, tool thing. I haven't actually, I've got three different oil filter removal, <coughs> excuse me, oil filter removal um, sockets or whatever you call them. And none of them fit this, but uh, this does. So removing the, the Aston Martin um, filter now. Uh, you'll notice that I got a little paper bag. Uh, that's because I didn't really want to get dripped on. It's kind of covering up the uh, oil drain plug right now, the front oil drain plug underneath the sump. So um, that was to stop me from getting dripped on while I was working on uh, getting the uh, oil filter removed. So that might be a useful trick. So at this point I've got the oil filter off. Um, so that's gonna just let in that drain. Um, I've taken the cover off this bypass filter here and I'm gonna uh, gently um, pry pry that one out. Uh, you'll see there's a second one further back, but uh, this one I've done. Um, just gotta get this, get, get this out, clean it with brake cleaner, clean it all up, put it back together again, gives you a good. So yeah, good opportunity for you to um, check to make sure there's nothing being caught inside here. Uh, this is the second drain plug. So this car has two drain plugs. Uh, one here, which you reuse with a new copper uh, copper seal from the kit. This one's got a little magnet in it, so you want to inspect that to make sure there's no metal flakes on there. Not that I'm not that I know what you would do if you find them, but I guess it's nice to know when you don't find them. Uh, and then this is the second drain plug, um, which uh, which you just saw me remove. There, uh, just it actually just sits here. Yep. So that's where we're at. One more, just got to get this out and then one more and we'll be done. So I have myself an interesting uh, little issue here. Just removed um, the uh, oil filter uh, from an Aston Martin V8 Vantage 4.3. And I have an exact identical oil filter that needs to go on. You can see it's got the same part number, but you'll notice immediately that there's a difference here. And this one has uh, this little piece in the middle uh, that's not supposed to be there. That's actually supposed to be um, still stuck to the engine. It shouldn't have come out with the oil filter. Uh, so I've got to figure out how to uh, unthread that, put it back in, 
uh, and then finish off my oil change. So once I've figured that out, I'll let everybody know. Uh, I managed to solve the problem with a appropriately big hex key that I got from Harbor Freight and uh, was able to put that in there and uh, with a screwdriver jammed into the old oil filter which I will never need again so I'm not particularly worried about I was able to get this thing out and then this is going to go back into the engine where it's supposed to be tightened in again with my 14 millimeter it actually isn't 14 millimeters something bigger than that but that's the closest one I've got and it'll it'll work but uh yeah that's going back in again new oil filter going in problem solved thankfully here's that last bypass filter uh, right here so we're just going to pop this screw into here i just wanted to do with this one show you how you uh, get this off just uh thumb tying it in um if you've got the kit by the way that uh rick from red pants so richard from red pants has given out um, you'll be removing uh, these little 10 millimeter, I think they're 10 millimeter, um, or might be even smaller screws um, from uh, from the underside of the car that hold on the two bypass filter plates. If you have not done this job before, these are going to be a little bit more. These potentially could be dif more difficult to get out, um, but the kit from Red Pants comes with some replacements that are not likely to uh, suffer from those problems of getting stuck. So. All we're going to do is find my tool, here we go, and prop this, pop this thing out. I'm going to move my, these do get messy, so I'm just going to, of course this time it's going to be difficult. Nope, there we go, no problem. So my little pry tool uh, is actually for like trim removal, uh, but it does a great job of, of getting that out. So I'm all done. I've just put in um, nine liters. So the best part of uh, two of these five liter uh, motor jugs. Um, going to run the car a little bit, check underneath, make sure there's no leaks, and then check the dipstick level. And I should need to top up a little bit more because the capacity is nine and a half, but just want to make sure I don't overdo it first. And that should be it. That's your oil change done.